into the, sec the second part of this and thank uh, both of you for your patience in uh, waiting on this segment to end. Um, we have um, uh, two uh, distinguished panelists with us this morning. Uh, I will introduce them in the order in which they arrived. Spin came up very early this morning, but thank you for that. Uh, Mr. Uh, Ambassador uh, Spin Alkalaj uh, uh, has is the current Executive Secretary of the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe, uh, former uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, for Bosnia and Herzegovina. I was also had a distinguished career as ambassador in, in many other places, including ambassador to the United States, ambassador to the Organization of American States, uh, has been ambassador uh, uh, in a number of other countries, uh, ambassador to Belgium, and, and, and concurrently ambassador to the North Atlantic Treaty uh, Organization, NATO, uh, comes also with a long, uh, outstanding record in senior executive positions in the private sector uh, in various parts of the world. And we're delighted to have you with us this morning. And we'll come to you in just a moment after I do a brief introduction to the Global Migration Group. Um, uh, Mr. Akalaj uh, represents the, the regional commissions of the United Nations, which had the chair in the first half of this year uh, and with whom we worked extremely closely, uh, almost like in a common agenda. Um, also honored and delighted to have Mr. Guy Ryder, the Director General of ILO, who I always call our next door neighbor. Uh, we see a lot of one another, uh, either here or in airports. But uh, we're delighted to, to have you, sir, with us. Uh, uh, he uh, is former General Secretary of, the, of uh, ITUC, the International Trade Union Federation, long distinguished career there, as well as a long and distinguished career with the International Labor Organization. He took up uh, this position uh, only last year, uh, became the director in September of, um, uh, sorry, of 2012, I guess it was. Uh, I want to uh, just segue briefly. We're so pleased that you're both here with us and can give us time. I know that you're both on tight schedules and we'll get you out of here as soon as this is, is over. We would love to have kept you a bit longer, but let me just go into a very brief PowerPoint presentation, uh, the dreaded PowerPoint, but I'm, I apologize, but I want to give our member states a bit of background. Um, the first um, uh, slide, I wanted to uh, welcome you all this morning in my, in my capacity, not as the Director General of IOM, but rather as the current chair of the Global Migration Group. I've already, uh, we've had a very good conversation with Director General Guy Ryder as how we're going to fully support the ILO chairmanship, which will be the first time that the GMG has a chair for an entire year and an entire year agenda. So we're going to do everything possible to try to support you in that. Um, it's uh, become somewhat of a tradition here at IOM that we have a GMG meeting of some sort. Uh, today it's focused on the Troika, the previous chair, the present chair, and the future chair. And we have a number of other members, UNDP just spoke up earlier, we have a number of other members of the GMG of the 16 uh, agencies here this morning who will be asked to contribute also. Um, but I think that I'd like to uh, also recognize uh, the other representatives here. Um, it's come to my attention that um, uh, the acronym GMG uh, stands for some of you for the Global Mystery Group rather than Global Migration Group. Uh, I hope this was said in jest by some of you, but I think it does point to a larger issue that we need to be much better known and known for results. And I'm satisfied that we're going to get that. The main purpose of this session, therefore, is to demyth demystify and demythologize the work of the Global Migration Group, uh, and therefore to heed the call in the declaration, which was adopted at the high-level dialogue, to make room for regular interaction between the member states in GMG 
And it is in that spirit that we are now uh, uh, having this session today. Uh, I hope that your own views and reflections will help us in the GMG to take uh, stock of the outcomes of the high-level dialogue and the role that the GMG can play in the future. Um, as many of you know, this was an original initiative by one of our other traditional partners, UNHCR and IOM. Um, it was subsequently uh, became the Geneva Migration Group in 2003. Uh, that consisted of the ILO, IOM, uh, OHCHR, UNCTAD, UNHCR, and the UNODC. And then in response to a recommendation by the Global Commission on International Migration, the then Secretary General, Mr. Kofi Annan, recommended that the Geneva Migration Group become the Global Migration Group. And at that point, others were added, UN, UN Department of Economic and Social Affairs, UNDP, UNFPA, and the World Bank. And numerous other partners have joined over the year, uh, the years, and in 2010, we reached our current membership of 16 agencies, and there is at least, this is when WHO and UN Women joined, and there is at least one active application now for a 17th member that will be under consideration by, uh, by the new chair of the GMG. Um, our main objectives you've seen there are to promote the wider application of all the relevant instruments and norms relating to migration, uh, promoting coherent, comprehensive, and co coordinated approaches to migration, and a short summary of the GMG work from 2006 to 2013 is available at the back of the room on the uh, display tables there. Um, we will take advantage of uh, my own prerogative as chair uh, by doing this brief overview of our work in the last few months um, uh, as GMG chair. And let me just say one thing on the internal review that is taking place in IOM uh, of, of GMG. We want to use this opportunity to announce that IOM has nominated an experienced staff member um, who, will, who knows the GMG very well, and she will be working full-time in Geneva for the newly created GMG support unit uh, together with a part-time colleague from UN DESA in New York. Um, as far as our own chairmanship, we did what we could, and we have, I think, a few modest accomplishments to point to um, in our time. Uh, one of these was the uh, the mandate from the UN Chiefs uh, Executives Board to begin a process of putting together proposed recommendations and outcomes for the high-level dialogue. We did this in partnership uh, with UNFPA. We coordinated the process together with other members of the GMG and the CEB, the Special Rapporteur on Human Rights of Migrants, the SRSG, Mr. Peter Sutherland, and the NGO Committee on Migration. Um, Dr. Babatunda Ostamehin, the executive director of UNFPA and I, presented these recommendations in Madrid on the 5th of April to the chief executives board. Uh, and we used these in part in the secretary general's report on international migration and development, uh, which ended with his eight-point action plan. Uh, the work that went into the recommendation was later turned into the volume that you see on the screen, copies of which are available at the back of the room on the display tables. And if we run out of copies, we have more uh, in our library, which we can get to you. Um, we tried also to contribute to the outcomes by issuing a GMG position paper, uh, which I presented then in summary form at the high-level dialogue in the plenary. Um, we also, the GMG, uh, we shared the chair with uh, uh, Mr. Ryder uh, in New York, uh, at which the Secretary General spoke and stayed with us for a good part of the session, um, a side event about the high-level dialogue and mentioning the involvement of nearly all GMG members at that time. 
Um, we, like uh, John Bingham of the uh, ICMC, we were pleased to see the high degree of convergence between the HLD declaration, the SG's uh, eight-point plan, uh, the GMG's recommendations, etc., and the civil society's eight-point five, uh, six-point, eight-point. Sorry, John, eight-point five-year plan. Um, the declaration of the high-level dialogue mentions the global migration group in a, a number of places. Above all, it increases. Uh, it stresses the importance of a regular interaction between the GMG and member states, a priority which I've placed high on my list for the IOM chairmanship. Um, finally, the Secretary General has encouraged the group to consider the eight-point agenda uh, for action when moving ahead, and we have deliberated already at the working level to see how uh, this might be turned into a program of action. Um, just one more slide, I think. Our own interaction with other processes and actors, coordination with the GMG, the Special Representative Secretary General in Civil Society. There have been some initial discussions already between SRSG Sutherland, the GFMD chair, and the GMG chair, as called for by the Secretary General. It was decided that the three entities, GMG, GFMD, and the SRSG, uh, would uh, convene every two months to maintain communication and information flow and to report back. This year, the GMG has already contributed collectively to the GFMD through uh, substantive papers on labor migration diaspora and migration <clears throat> as enablers for inclusive uh, social development. In addition to the Global Forum, we in the GMG have also tried to enhance our outreach to civil society actors uh, and to university scholars, contributing to a forthcoming GMG publication on, quote, adolescence, youth, and migration. Uh, we've also tried to link up the GMG with the post-2015 uh, UN Development Agenda. Um, there we have, are advocating that migration be included in that future development agenda. We formulated our views and recommendations in a joint paper on migration and post-2015. Uh, which is also available at the back of the room. Uh, <clears throat> at the high-level dialogue, many member states supported the thought that migration needed to be recognized. This was the spirit uh, of the uh, hearings in New York. And finally, um, I was able to represent the GMG as chair at the UN General Assembly high-level event on the Millennium Development Goals and the post-2015 development agenda in New York in September. Uh, we will also be, as a global migration group, involved in the session, the fifth, sixth session of the Open Working Group on Sustainable Development Goals in December, at which I will be taking part uh, in about two weeks, in collaboration with the chair of the GFMD and the SRSG. Um, Finally, just a couple of concluding reflections about our interactions. Um, we want to see an action-orientated global migration group with strength and structure and greater interaction with all of you and other partners. We want to add value to the dialogue through interdisciplinary meeting places, multiple perspectives. We want to find space, more space for uh, information sharing. Um, I think the 16 GMG agencies typify the multifaceted aspects and perspectives of migration and the complexity of the topic, et cetera. Um, the question is asked whether we are more than the sum of our parts. I think uh, the parts are important. And I believe that a diversity of mandates and 
governance structures and sources of funding uh, means that the GMG has become an effective meeting place and a coordination mechanism for information sharing uh, and consensus building. And it takes a lot of time and effort, but I think the uh, time and effort is very worthwhile. And I think there's one strong area of consensus of which I'm especially proud and want to highlight, and that is our call to think of migration first and foremost in terms of individual persons, individual human beings endowed with dignity and rights. Um, the group has come together since the first high-level high dialogue in 2006 in developing a lot of common positions. But we acknowledge that we continue ha to have a long way to go in ensuring that we are greater than the sum of our parts. So I would now like to move from my presentation uh, to that of uh, our colleagues who've, who've uh, come from busy schedules to be with us today. And I would like to begin that session now. If I might, uh, uh, first of all, uh, perhaps I could call on uh, Mr. Sven Akalaj, the Executive Secretary and past chair from January to June uh, to make his presentation. You have the floor.